Okay, folks, I uh, I did get the rocker off this side here. You can see there. Uh, I will say this, the, the front hinge pillar on the passenger side, the bottom of it's pretty bad. So uh, I cut things off, cleaned it up. Uh, Got to grind this off. This metal looks pretty solid behind it. Um, but what I've done so far, I started fabricating. Uh, cut this up. This is just a straight edge I have on here, as you can see. I'm just doing this for reference. But I've made this piece here, which is the bottom front of the uh, of the pillar. And as you can see, it fits in there very nicely. I uh, will tack all that, but I don't want to get anything real solid uh, until I get the rocker in. But I believe I'm very close and uh, pretty accurate right there. As you can see it fits in there real nice. Even got the hole just like these behind that plate there. Maybe I'll remove that straight edge brace so you can see my patch. Well, there you go, guys. You can see I made the patch. Fits in there nicely. I still got to weld the flange down to get to the rocker on that side. And I got some inside work to do on this side. But, yeah, it's coming nicely. May have a little bit more work to do on this here. Grinding this up once I get the rocker to see where I'm at. But, yeah, pretty happy with this. As you can see, I have the rocker kind of bungee corded up in there. Uh, I'll tell you, doing these... Locator stands was the best thing I did. I uh, really liked doing that. That gives me my proper uh, height location. Now, the only thing I'm struggling with is on this one is this hinge pillar, the side mounts, both sides were rusty. So I cut them off and they weren't, they wouldn't even give me a location rusty. They were that bad. So what I did determine was I come over here and this hinge pillar, of course, is still in good shape at the bottom. And I'm looking here real close and I do notice that this, because of this angle, this flange that welds to the rocker is very straight and which makes the rocker flush with the outside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bolt this right there, put a piece of sheet metal on the inside. For instance, this scrap piece I was testing again right here. And I'm going to take and do this. And what that's going to do, that's going to give me the proper location left and right on this unit. This is what the rig looks like. So I clamped it in two places to the hinge pillar. And then as you see here, I got a piece of same gauge sheet metal in there, pulled this tight. And that's going to locate it in the front, right to left. Basically doing the same thing here in the back, except as I did on the other side, I've already made the bottom part of my lock pillar. All I have to do, I fabricated that. All I have to do is a final adjustment on this top. I left it a little long intentionally so that, uh, you know, I didn't cut it too short. So anyway, let's, let's get to fitting that up. I have everything mocked up here exactly where this rocker goes. As I said before, I've got this in here to give it to me my right and left in front. I have it the proper distance from here to the front, which is seven and seven eighths, according to my dimensions on the original. I uh, gave me some marks here on this locator pad just so I can double check every time I move things around, it doesn't get out of place. I have the same angle of level that I do on the other side. And the key to that is the other side is the original bottom of the hinge pillar right there. So I'm following that procedure. And in the back here, I uh, done the same thing. I shimmed this out with the same sheet metal so this is exactly where this goes so I'll go ahead and put a mark here and here also so I can uh, make sure on that uh, that it doesn't get re moved or relocated so I just take my Milwaukee pin I do this 
do that. Now that's where that thing's gonna land when I'm all done trimming my parts. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I have my, my part, as I showed before, rough cut, but I am going to take some measurements from here to here. I'm gonna do it at each corner, make some marks, and I'll get it down to within a sixteenth, either on the bandsaw or my belt sander, and then I'll start doing the final little fit with a hand grinder. Let's get at it. Well, I have this uh, lower lock pillar repair done. Got a little bit of tweaking to do. I'm probably gonna go ahead and just spot weld it in um, and then wait till either I get a used chassis or wait till my Roadster Shop chassis comes in. I've been on the phone this morning with Roadster Shop and Drive Junkies, which is a pulley company out of California who makes the uh, front drive pulley system for the LT4 engine to fit a Roadster Shop C2 Spec 7 chassis. Still have some loose ends to work out on that, but I can't believe there hasn't been more people do that. But who knows, I might be the first one to do that. So here we go. But let's get back to this birdcage, fixing that up. We had a good day out here today. As you can see, I have the uh, lock pillar repair done on the bottom uh, everything fits up nice comes right up to my location pad that I put on my body jig uh, yeah really happy with that see in here things meet up real nice just have some welding to do but I'm gonna wait till either I find a stock chassis to uh, use as my use as my mock-up jig or wait till my new chassis comes in, but that's a few months. So I'm, I'm gonna start looking for a uh, nice straight used C2 chassis. Anybody out there watching the video has one, give me a call. I don't want it to be a roller. I just want it to be the frame itself. I don't care if it's got rust holes as long as the measurements are uniform and the frame's not twisted. So anyway, uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I'm making some good headway. Gonna start working on the uh, on the front here because on this unit the uh, hinge pillar bottom was rusted too so really happy with this uh, let's keep going starting to work on the uh, front passenger side hinge pillar as you can see I had to cut a lot of it away uh, because of rust damage but I have the rocker in the correct position thankfully for my down bar pedestal that helped me locate. I have I have the rocker in the correct location left and right uh, based on a straight edge down off of this form. Again with the thickness of the sheet metal in here and then just put a straight edge down from here. Make sure that was located properly. That's how the other side is. So I copied that. Uh, I have made, fabricated this piece, as you can see here. It even has a hole. The oval hole, just like these oval holes that are in here, right there, and that one up there. Sorry for my bungee cord hooks and stuff getting in the way, but uh, yeah, copied that hole. As you see also, I drilled the hole and did a, a weld plate or a weld nut. Uh, that's for the firewall. Uh, you know what that looks like on the other side. So that looks like that right there. I actually, how I did that was to drill that clearance hole and then I actually took a piece of bar stock, drilled and tapped it. It just makes it, rather than just doing a nut on there, it makes it a lot more secure. Uh, 
and then the other bracket that comes down, the L bracket that hooks will be an additional plate on top here, which makes it a lot stronger. I'll spot weld that on. So yeah, let's get started. Let's uh, dry fit this thing in and see how it fits. Probably have to do a little bit more grinding and stuff, but uh, that's how you do it. So let's get started. Well, let me get you in here real close. I have done my final fit on this. I'm sorry for all the obstruction in the way of the video, but it's the way it works. This down here, it's a little misaligned, but I can uh, bend that back once. But what I do have all accurate is right here, this is very flush all the way across here. I have basically the same gap under this as I do on the other side right there. And then the L bracket that I'm gonna build comes down here and then welds on. But Everything looks good. Uh, this piece here is actually out of a different gauge metal. That's heavier gauge, so I'll fabricate that separately. Uh, this inside flange that goes down, I'll build that separately also and, and weld that on. So let's, let's get moving, let's tack weld this on. Well, where we're at now, I'm on this, I'm mocking up this pattern for the other side. I took uh, duct tape, taped it there, cut it out with a Zacto knife, marked my hole. Um, then I took it off and then I traced it on the sheet metal. Now I'm gonna cut that out with a bandsaw, drill the hole and then make the bend at the proper spot. Now, what I gotta remember is I gotta reverse this pattern. So in reality, this will be on this side, this way. So what that means is I just have to bend it the opposite way of this pattern, this one here. So instead of bending it like this here, I'll be bending it like this. And then that will go boom, right on that. So it will end up looking like with the bend somewhere down in here, something like this. So now I've cut my pattern out. Now I'm gonna come back over here and double check where I want my bend. I uh, did a test piece, had to, had to move my marks about a sixteenth, so let's go over here to the press brake and I'll see if I can hold it with one hand and break it with the other hand. So you got the press brake. I readjusted this movement here to get a tighter bend. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but there's an adjustment on my brake back here to move these plates closer to the bends. You, this gap should be about the thickness of your metal. So let's move this in. You can see my marks there. I should be centered on those marks. So let's lower that a little bit. Feeling pretty good about that. I may tap that in just a little. It's hard to see from the lighting, but I should be halfway on those marks. I'm pretty close. Feeling good with that. Let's clamp her down tight. Let's take a bend. Feeling good. That's about 90. 
We'll check the bend. That's real close to 90. Let's go see what we got over here. So this goes right there, basically like that. The bend's a little too much, gotta bend it back. Yeah, it's not too bad, I like that. I like the way it looks. Gotta drill my hole. See how it looks compared to this one, yeah. It's a little outside that. Yeah, it looks, looks good. I have the piece mocked up. It's where I want it. I've actually drilled the hole for the firewall, but I threw a bolt in there to hold it in place. I'm probably not going to tack weld it right now till I get the chassis. Just want to make sure these rockers are in the right spot. I may tack weld it. We'll see, but I got the bolt there to hold it, so no big deal. As I said before, I fabricated the front part of the uh, hinge pillar and the bracket here that will be spot welded to, to the hinge pillar piece and, and the rocker. And then I constructed this piece. Of course, this particular part of the hinge pillar is a lot heavier duty uh, gauge. So, you know, heavier gauge. I actually formed this out of three pieces to simplify everything. Um, I have the uh, this portion with the bend and then the lower part that it actually gets uh, spot welded onto the rocker also and then the flange here to get spot welded onto the uh, rocker. Let's see how this fits here. So you see where I had to cut the rust out and that fits right in there like that. And then I'll actually weld all this and true up the welds. And he's coming here. You see, I have the nice heavy duty uh, point here where I'll be spot welding that on. I cut it this way because I really didn't want to uh, cut it off square. Right? And I really didn't want to get into that because it wasn't rusted. So this worked out real nice. Sorry, I dropped that on you guys, but you can see that fits in there really nice. Actually, fits in there perfectly. All right, everybody, I'm back out here today. I basically finished this, getting this piece in. Got some welding to do, but I'm picking up the frame next week uh, just to set up a jig, not the new frame, not the roaster shop frame, but just a stock frame so I could check all my alignment. I fabricated this piece here, got it tack welded in. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, use all the same gauge uh, sheet metal that's on the car, as you can see here. This particular bend is, is one gauge. This plate, same gauge as the bracket, and but this is a which the door hinges are bolted to, so a lot thicker. So followed all the procedures. Going to be stronger than the original once I get it welded. But you see, all the rockers are fitted up. Just waiting to. To verify the all my measurements, my locations by putting a stock frame under it. And then I'll weld everything up. The only thing I have left to do is I need to refabricate this particular, you can see it's rusted. I need to grind that off and then just make this weld flange here, but that's no big deal. And then I'll uh, I'll blow this stuff apart and I'll sandblast all this rust or rust treat it somehow. I do have a small pod sandblaster. I may build a portable enclosure here around the car and blast a lot of this rust. Next, move on to the top of the lock pillars, both sides.